Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about a recent development in the world of cryptocurrency that has left many investors worried. The stablecoin USDC, which is supposed to maintain a one-to-one -one value with the US dollar, has fallen below $1 due to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. In this video, we'll explain what stablecoins are, why USDC's value has fallen, and what this means for investors. Stablecoins are a type of cryptocurrency that is supposed to maintain a stable value, usually by being pegged to a fiat currency like the US dollar. This makes them less volatile than other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, which can experience wild fluctuations in value. USDC is one of the largest stablecoins in the world, with a market capitalization of over $40 billion. However, USDC's value has fallen below $1 due to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, where Circle, the creator of USDC, had over $3.3 billion in reserves. This represents about 8% of USDC's total reserves. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank has raised concerns about contagion in the banking system, leading investors to cash out more than $2.6 billion USDC in just 24 hours. Coinbase, one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world and a co-supporter of USDC, has temporarily suspended the conversion between USDC and USD over the weekend. Coinbase has said that it will resume conversions on Monday, but the situation has left many investors worried about the stability of stable coins. Most of USDC's reserves are invested in treasuries, but almost $9 billion was held in cash at banks including Bank of New York Mellon. Citizens Trust Bank, Customers Bank, New York Community Bank, a division of Flagstar Bank, NA, Signature Bank, Silicon Valley Bank, and Silvergate Bank as of January 31. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank has also raised concerns about the safety of depositors' money. The FDIC has taken over more than $175 billion in deposits at the bank, but only up to $250,000 per depositor is insured. The rest of the depositors are uninsured and will be paid an advance dividend within the next week, with the possibility of receiving more, depending on the amount of money FDIC receives from selling Silicon Valley Bank's assets. In conclusion, the fall of USDC's value below $1 due to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank has raised concerns about the stability of stable coins and the safety of depositors' money. It remains to be seen how this situation will play out and what the long-term implications will be for the world of cryptocurrency. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts on stablecoins and USDC's recent developments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the world of cryptocurrency.